In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can create your product on seller using your Android phone or your iPhone. You don't need a laptop. I was speaking with a friend yesterday and she was telling me that she don't have a product on seller because she thought that you must have a laptop before you create your first product on seller. But it is not true. And that is why I'm recording this video. You can use your Android phone and create your first product on seller. Just pay attention to the screen. What you are seeing here is my product that I'm selling. It's actually an ebook where I reveal 21 key lessons that I learned after generating 390,000 quality leads and making consistent seven figures selling offers. So if you want to get this ebook, it's actually very affordable. The link will be in the comment section. So this is an this is a store. This is my own seller store where i'm using to sell this particular ebook so what we're going to do in this video is i'm going to try to recreate everything that is here all the images you are seeing all the tests you are seeing i'm going to recreate everything so you see the process that i followed to create it all right so stick through in this video i want to assure you that this channel is dedicated to giving you amazing value around making offer, selling your products, running Facebook ad, getting results with your ad, generating quality leads. So if any of these are words you want to learn, please ensure that you subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell. And also like and comment on this video if you find it helpful so that algorithm can show it to more people who will also find it helpful. All right. So what we're going to do is remember that in the last video, we created a seller account. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to log in to that new seller account that I created and I will show you the process that you need to follow to start. This is my old, old seller account. So I'm going to log out there and log into a new one that I created. So I'll show you the process that I need to follow. All right. So this is the account. So I'll stop on login. And here we are. All right. The first thing we need to do is you, you can see you don't have any product yet because it's a new account. Okay. So what we need to do now is to click on add bank detail because bank details are where your money will be sent to when you start making sale on seller. So click on bank details. You can just add any. I'm just going to add a bank, one bank account that I use so that you just see. Yes, of course, if you're in Nigeria, you can choose Nigeria. If you're in another country, just choose your country. All right. So I'm going to choose Nigeria. Then I'm going to choose first bank because it's first bank that I want to use. Then I'm going to just add my account number. Okay. Please, you have to verify that this, these details are correct because without it, you, you won't be able to get your money from seller. Okay. So I'm just going to verify. And once they are verified that is correct, Voila, we've already our our bank detail is already added. So any sale that I make in this dashboard, what it means is that this is where they will send the money to me. If this account detail is not correct, you are not going to get money. Please, this is important you pay attention to it. So once I have done it, I just come here and click on this three this line. Just click here, all right? And I, I know why I'm showing you this with laptop so that you don't have any reason not to have product on seller if you want because you can do it without a laptop. So just click here and click on products. You can see products right here. So just click on these products and then click on add product because we don't have a product yet. So you click on add products. All right add a product so they will ask you what the what is the product you want to add is it a physical product or is it a digital product or is it an event all right if it's a ticketed event or subscription or service you can choose to add anything but i'll just go with these two products because it's these two products that we're adding so you click on next and it's going to bring you this is where we we'll do the magic all right just follow me this is where we we'll do the magic so the first thing you need to do is say your image needs to be at least 300 by 300 pixel preferably a square image which means if your graphic designer gives you a square image it can work so i will just tap on it and because i've already saved all those images that are in the seller page so that it's become easy for me so i'll just tap on it and choose this is the this is the ebook so that is what i'm going to add there then what is the name of the product you are the one to name your product what you want so for me i've given the product a name 
from R to unlimited lead, 21 key lesson I learned after generating 390,000 quality leads. And I say you can get this ebook for a very affordable price. The link will be in the comment section. So, what is the price? They will ask you how much you want to sell it. Then I can just put in the price that I want to sell it. Now, this is a discounted price. If you want the original price to show in a way that they will strike it, you can click on this. You can choose this show striked. You can choose this uh, show strike. So you see, show striked out original price. Okay, so I click on it. Then the original price, of course, is $499. On now, look at here in SAT text. This is where you put in the sales copy. Remember those copy that I showed you? So I've copied it. All I need to do is to paste that copy. I've copied everything from the beginning to the end. So all I need is to paste the copy. Now you have to make sure that your copy is well edited and everything is ready before you come into this seller dashboard. It is important. All right. Okay. So this is the copy. This is the copy. Now, this any place that you you see that you need to add a picture, I'm going to show you how you can add a picture with your seller. All right. So you see this this thing that is blinking now. See that thing? That is where the picture that I'm going to add now will be. So it's blinking now. I will just click. This is where I will click. Here. You see that? You see that? Yeah, that thing there. So once I click it, it's asked me to choose a picture. Make sure that the pictures are already in your gallery. And make sure that it's not the one that is very far. That I have to take you time to start scrolling. Make sure that everything is circled in one place. All right. So I'll just choose. This is the one I want. Look, it's going to add there very soon. Okay. So it just added now. Okay. So now, uh, this is another one. This place that is blinking because I already know where the pictures are going to be added. So it's now your duty to check all of that. So anywhere you want to add picture, make sure that, that this black thing is blinking there. And you just scroll up and choose this place that I've highlighted before. It's very simple. I'm telling you. You just choose there and they will ask you add the picture you want to add. I want to add the second one because I'm telling a story showing people how... I started and how I was struggling. Yes. So you can see then another thing where there's another place I want to add picture now. So I've gone ahead to generate 390,000. Now this place is blinking. I'm going to add just a proof to drive home my points that I actually got the results that I'm claiming. So this is the one. So you can see how once you tap on it, the picture is added. <laughs> like it's very easy. Just pay attention then and also making multiple seven figures so i'm just gonna add where i was in a flight going for a vacation just to drive home my points so i'm just gonna add this one so i've also gone ahead to share this secret to my students who are crushing it so here are just a few of them so i'm just gonna go ahead to add results Okay, I'm just going to go ahead to add results for my students. So you see the process. Whenever you want the picture to show, you make sure that this black thing, I don't know if you are seeing that black thing or Let me show you. You make sure that this black thing, you see that black thing that is blinking. Make sure that that thing is blinking. That same place you want the picture to be. Once it's blinking, you scroll up and choose this picture here and then you add anyone so i'm just going to add a student result now you see the moment you choose it it's added automatically all right but you still need to save it and this too so i need to add another picture which is a testimonial so i'm just going to add another testimonial that i want and this too so this is another testimonial too so i'm just going to go ahead and add and I, I hope you are you are getting how easy it is if you have your copy in less than one hour, your product is up on seller and you can start giving people the link. You don't even need to worry about how do I buy hosting, how do I get a domain, how do I install WordPress. All of that are important if you want to have your own website. But if you are starting or you just want something easy, seller is the best way for you. Do you understand? Seller is the best way for you. All right. Let me add this particular picture. Let me add this. Okay. So more pictures. So from ads or limited leads, 
then I will now start talking to them about how they can get bonuses. So bonus number one, I, I did a graphic, I did a design for all the bonuses. So you can see four of them here. All right. So if you have the designs for your bonuses, it's still the same process. You can see how this thing is actually very fast. Why? Because everything is already sorted out. All you need is just, you know, to build it. And once you follow this method that I'm showing you, it's very simple. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell. I promise you, you are going to learn so much about online marketing, so much about how you can start running ads and getting results for yourself just by subscribing to this channel. All right. So you see, I've, I've actually added all the things that I need. Though. Trust me, I've added all the things that I need. Okay, so you see all those pictures that I showed you be at the starting of this video, I have added all of them. Okay, and I remember you added the, the original price. This original price will be striked. Don't worry, I'll show you what strike means. And this is the sales price. Let's say you are running a discount. This is the sales price. Okay, I don't think there's any other thing for here. So when you come down here, you see this category. It's important that you pay attention here now. You see this category, you see this subcategory. It is important so you must choose it if you don't choose it, seller will not allow you to save this product so what is it what is the category of course for me i'll just choose something around um wealth and finance or business i can choose business because it's around business i can choose business or i can choose marketing and sales then so you need to really think about what is your product all about Okay, what's the product all about? So, subcategory, of course, it's lead generation. So, I'm talking about lead generation. If it's about Facebook ad, if it's about copywriting, if it's about anything, just choose the one that suits what you're trying to sell. I hope you're beginning to see how easy it is to sell your product. And if it is a pre-order that you are building, please make sure that you choose this pre-order so that what, what what this thing does is that when people come to buy, you notify them, see, oh, this is a pre-order. This is so so date that the product will launch. So let me choose pre-order so that you see what will happen. It will not ask me what is pre-order release date. All right. So I will now have to choose the date that they will release it and the time that the product will be released. You get what I mean? So, but because this product is already available, it's not a pre-order. So, once you pay, you get access to it. I don't need the pre-order. I just gave you this example. Do you understand? Now, you see this part? It is important. This part, if you don't do anything here, they will not allow you to save the product. So, let me explain what that means. Let's assume that you are selling an ebook. You know, ebook can be a PDF, right? And you want that immediately people pay without you being there seller will give them access to the product automatically if you if that's what you want it means that you don't have to do any work once you advertise and people pay they are getting access to what you are offering them immediately so assuming it's a pdf you can now just upload it if it is a read only only if it's a read online only you can upload it but if you want them to download it you can upload it so how do i upload it just click on drag and drop and you'll be able to choose Let's say, let me go for my for my documents now. So you see all this PDF. Let's say I want to choose this one. Maybe this one is the ebook. I can just upload it there. I can just upload it there and click on create product. What it means is that when people pay, they are going to get access to what I uploaded here. Do you understand? But I do not, let's say I just don't want that part. I want to use another method whereby when people pay, I tell them to chat me up on Facebook or chat me up on WhatsApp. Do you understand? So that I can give them the access to that product manually. What, what it does is, you know, you want to be able to make sure that the person pay. But once you have used this give by access to a file, seller cannot give buyer the access if they did not make payment on the seller platform so if they paid via your account detail seller cannot give them access to this so do you understand so now let's assume i don't want that i just want once they pay they get access to a link maybe that link for instance now you know when you use this give buyer access you're only uploading let's say one product do you understand? But if I use this automatically redirect buyer to an external link, do you know what that means? 
if I have a Google Drive where I uploaded like five or seven different products, you know that that Google Drive is just going to give me one link. But inside that one link, they will be able to see those five different products. For instance, look at this thing now. I am giving them four bonuses, which and these bonuses are video training. There's no way I will upload I will upload it here. Then these ones, these ones are. This is an ebook, so you see, there's, I have to have a Google Doc, a Google Drive that have the link to the videos and the and the PDF. So what do I do? Instead of using this Give by Access, I'll just remove it and choose this automatically redirect buyer to an external URL. I hope that makes sense. I I try to explain it so that you can understand it, right? So now, re, what is the URL? You now need to choose. If you want people to chat you on WhatsApp, you can use wa.link. I made a video in this channel how you can get your customized WhatsApp link. Just check, check you can check around this channel to see the video. Or if you have a Google do, a Google Drive link like I do, so I will now paste the link here. All right? I have copied the link and paste. So anybody that pays via seller platform, Google seller is going to give them access to this link that contains all the things that I promised them. Does that make sense? Once I have done that, there's no other thing I need to do. I just come here and click on create products. Let me remove this. I just come here and click on this create products here. Okay. Create products. Now, they're asking me you need to upload the product file why because i checked this give buyer access to a file so if i uncheck it that's all i need but if you check it you must upload the file but i don't want to upload the file i, I want to redirect them to an external url so once i click on create products it's going to now my product is going to be alive on seller and trust me if i place this on facebook and somebody click on it and buy my money have started coming in how many minutes did it take me to get my product activated on seller if i wanted to go through the website route which is not bad i need to buy domain i need to buy hosting i need to install wordpress i need to use cc panel before all of these things before my product can be available but you see why i love seller let me tell you at the making of this video i made a lot of sales via seller and that is why i love seller okay so let me click this is the link let's click on it so that we'll see what, what i'm telling you the product is life the product is life the same thing that i showed you before i get started if somebody click on buy now and check out and pay my money is already coming in all right now you can see those pictures you see everything is just exactly how i showed you but there is one thing that i want to talk about and this is important look the way seller work is when you make a payment when you make a sale they have a little commission just a very small commission okay now for instance you see this this price here is 2499 let me show you you see that this price here is 2499 if you leave it like this and people start get paying 2499 when seller is paying you they will take their commission from this 2499 but there is a smart way to do it you know the smart way to do it the smart way to do it is to let the customer be the person that will pay the charge that seller will charge you let's click on the buy now so you see what i mean click on this buy now you see you see what you see what comes out here 2499 if you allow it like this and the customer pays you are not going to get the exact 2499. Seller will take their charge and they will not send you the rest. But in my own case, because I'm smart, I don't want to use that method. I want the customer to be able to pay for the for the for the for the seller charge. So I'm going to copy this link. I'm going to show you something. How to set it up, right? Now let's go to our account. Let's go to our dashboard. And once we need one, one thing we need to do just click on that three three line up there like this place click there okay now come come down to settings you see these settings here please follow me i hope this video makes sense i show you comment like this video and subscribe to this channel please turn on the notification bell so you can always get notified because i'm publishing every video every week right so click on that setting now Okay, click on the settings. You see this general store setting. 
general store setting click on general store setting very important so i click on it it's going to ask me let's let's just go down i'll show you what i want to show you here now it's going to ask me some questions here choose this is the place i need you to pay attention if you want to get that if you want to allow the customer to pay for the charge that seller will charge this is what you need to do you see this choose who pays for the seller transaction charge okay click it if you choose me merchant you are not going to get the exact money you are selling the ebook but if you choose customer correct this is what we want i just want to choose customer there's another thing before i save it there's another thing i want to talk about you see that buy now that you see i can actually change this to grab this offer now so what is now going to show there is no buy now what is going to show there is grab this offer now okay or you can just put anything maybe take advantage of this of anything you like now there's another thing i want to show you do you want to collect the customer's mobile phone number i really don't need it but i don't know if you may need it but if you need it why not all right <clears throat> this part show checkout this part now is very important let me show you show checkout form immediately a user clicks on buy button this is typically helpful to reduce the amount the clicks the user makes before paying see here if you make it hard for a customer to buy they will abandon the transaction so i'm just going to check it i need once they click on pay now it shows the checkout form they don't need to click on the checkout themselves do you understand so once i have done this i click on this update you are going to see the changes that will happen i will show you now click on this update and make sure that you update it you are going to see the changes that will happen now okay now let's go back and to our product and go try to let's go and try to buy a product you see what will happen there remember what i showed you when you click on buy 2499 will show which means if pay, customer pays you are the one that is going to pay for the charge but let's see what will happen now first of all you see that that buy now have changed it's have changed to grab this offer right now that's the first thing you see that okay remember that stroke that i told you let me let me just share that stroke for you now remember that stroke that i told you you see this thing that is the main price let me tell you what this thing does in the minds of the customer is okay this this number is not actually the price the price is the one that down but because they are running a discount let me take advantage of the discount right now do you understand okay now let's click on grab this offer this is what happened now the customer is the one paying for the transaction fee the customer is the one paying for the transaction fee and you are not seeing anything like checkouts they are just seeing pay now so because of that thing that i set there show checkout immediately the customer clicks it helps to reduce abandoned transaction you see all those things that i've just shown you now some of these things are you, something you cannot find for free anywhere but i'm sharing it i'm sharing them with you please ensure that you like this video and comment on it and subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell so you can get notified whenever i drop videos even though i'm giving you free stuff they are really valuable so i'm out to give you real value but you want to subscribe so you don't miss it okay i hope that makes sense so once i click on pay now i will not be able to put in my atm card and make my payment do you understand okay so can now put in your atm card and pay okay but i don't want to pay right now so i'm just going to leave i hope this video has been so helpful to you i hope this video inspires you to go and open your first product if you have a video training if you have an ebook if you have an audio class if you have a whatsapp training anything that you have that you are selling start by using seller instead of making excuse start by using seller when you now start making sale and you are ready to go into a full website which has a lot of techy stuff that you might not want to start with you see when you start with websites it might make you to give up you start asking yourself ah, when will i start installing wordpress buying domain i don't understand the terms just use seller follow exactly what i showed you in this video if you have any challenge or question please put up a question please ask a question in the comment section because my team are always watching to respond to you thank you so much and before you go don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell i will see you in the next video. Bye for now.